All right, let's jump to this review of the Fluval FX6. As you can see, two are underneath my 150. Yup, two. There they are. Now I'll pull one out, we'll do the cleaning, we'll get to the review. All right, let's talk about this beast of a filter. It looks like a five gallon bucket, a little DIY project that Fluval came up with. But let me tell you, it is a beast of a filter, especially when you're running two on a 150. So FX5 or FX6. If the prices are close, close just go with the FX6. That's my opinion. If you've already got the FX5, there's honestly no reason to upgrade, and let me tell you why. The major difference is color and aesthetics. The plastic fasteners used to be rubber on the FX5, which I do miss. They added these absolutely useless knobs, which I wish were electronic that can buzz or beep or tell you when it was time to change the water or the media. But if you're already like me and you've got a method down, which majority of us do, there's really no need for these. Same output, same intake, same drainage nozzle on the bottom, and same booty on it that holds the electronic components to allow the system to shut down and purge itself. To be honest with you, I think Fluval overrates this filter. Um, one on a 150 is suffice, especially when you're working with African cichlids or any other fish that causes chaos in your tank and lots of debris. I run two on my 150 and I'm gonna show you exactly what type of media I do use when I put it in here and that's where we're going next. Follow me. All right, ideally you're gonna to wanna to do this outside, especially when you're trying to do it in a guest bathroom. So I unplugged it, allowed it to drain, and my video jacked up, so I'm gonna to have to re-show you what we did. So the first tray that sits on top has your typical foam and your hard plastic trays, which are extremely durable. And I run, so you guys can see, and girls, I run Clear Max in the top, and I run Purigen, which needs to be refreshed. On top of that, and surrounding it, I put my secret weapon, and I'm gonna show you that at the end of the video. The second tray, made of the same material, Pond Matrix. My third tray, which is the bottom tray, I won't show you my secret weapon, but I do use Chemi Pure Elite. Anything Chemi Pure will do. Elite and a secret weapon that I'm going to start using is in the process. But this is a key to success, plus what I'm about to show you here shortly. On the bottom, I use a fine filtering pad. Same thing I do on the top of it. It's just extra polishing to make my tank as crystal clear as I can get it. So I'm going to clean this real quick. I'm going to put it back together, we'll get it hooked up, and I'll talk to you about what I think and the secret weapon I use inside all of my filters to keep them crystal clear. Stay tuned. We're back with the FX6. It's been cleaned. The fasteners have been tightened. And now we're going to connect the extremely, extremely durable connectors back to the output and intake. And then uh, I'll tell you what I think. Gonna press down until you hear the click. Hopefully, yes. Was that the out or the in? That was the out, so that would have been bad. <laughs> yep. 
You could be like Cyber Aquarius and label these bad boys and it'd be a heck of a lot easier. All right. Everything's good. I'll open the floodgates. Back up the filter. And now I'll tell you what I think. All right, folks, so you've seen me talk about it, clean it, put it back together, showed you what I have for media. Now you're going to want to know what I think. So the FX6 is probably one of the best canister filters made right now that I've had my hands on. I put it neck and neck with the Sun Sun because the Sun Sun is extremely cost effective when you're setting up a new tank or you're adding another filter. If you have the funds and you want a filter that is not manual priming, you want it to do everything by itself, the FX6 is it. It's durable, Fluval's known for a pretty good customer service, it has three huge media trays, it has bells and whistles if you will for anybody that doesn't want an, a digital screen electronic type filter. The FX6, I give um, two thumbs up because of its superior cleaning ability, its ease of use, and Fluval's vast you know, repair parts if it should go down. So let's talk about what I do put in for those of you who don't understand the names. I just put in Chemi Pure Blue. This is the start of a trial. Boyd Enterprises and I linked up together to test this out and to let you know what I think. All right, this is made specifically for reef and marine aquariums, although I am putting it in my African tank, along with Chemi Pure Elite, which has a black lid, and it says Chemi Pure Elite right there by Boyd Enterprises. I also use one of the super micro filtration pads for Fluval XP, made for the, the same size, I believe, for all of them. But I use one pad and I use it on the bottom of my Fluval FX6 on top of all the media. I also use, I fluctuate between Purigen and Clearmax from Fluval. Purigen, you know, is from Seachem. I've actually taken it out to specifically use the blue, but I have a secret weapon. For $3.95, I have filter floss for days. I don't have to buy it from an aquatic store, local fish store, online retailer. I run into a big box retailer and grab a huge bag of polyfill. Make sure it's 100% polyester, there's no additives, and I literally surround my media with this stuff. And then I lay it on top to create that extra fine filtering type pad. This is what helps my tank stay crystal clear. Simple as that. I don't use anything other than that. and. Prime. That's it. Nothing else goes in to help me make my tank crystal clear. So I hope you enjoyed the review of the FX6 from Fluval. The FX5 is very similar as I said earlier. It's got a couple of tweaks. Doesn't warrant a new purchase, but if you don't have one and you're looking for one, I highly, highly recommend the Fluval FX6. Thank you so much for tuning in and listening to my waterfall behind me. As always, like, share, subscribe, and send this puppy wherever you want to, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. 